Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. I'm to get cracking on this cylinder head. I got all the valves out of a cylinder head that was made true. I need to make sure the seats are not damaged or beat up so that I can use them. Get them lapped down. So let me inspect these valves real good. Make sure I choose 10 good ones. The exhaust ones are normally pitted. So I need to find 10 valves that are not pitted. I need to lap them in the head and then install them in the head. Out of all these valves, this one is the only one that looks like it's got excessive pits in it. If you use that valve, which needs to be cut down, I think it won't seat as good, and it could be the next valve that'll burn in the head. So let me find another valve that I could use and get them lapped in the head. And if you don't know, that's a burnt valve there. This is one that's probably one of the worst I've seen. Big chunk came out of it. This is the one that needs to be, I think, discarded because it's got too much damage on the seat. And this is the one I'm going to clean up to use. Use my wire wheel, cleaned all the carbon and surface rust off of it. Now I'm going to get the head over here and lap these valves in the head. Then I put new valve stem seals on it. Get this thing ready to roll. And there it is, folks. Grinding these valves. Putting my finger on the ends of them when I spin them. It's really should do it slow. Got the drill on that end. And then you put a light on it after you're done wiping it out and everything. Make sure you don't have no light coming through this end when you shine a bright light on this side. Let me go ahead and pull this one out and clean all of this stuff off of it. Grinding compound. See how the end of it has that dull finished look? The seat should have the dull finished look instead of that dirty shiny look. You want to do all 20. I got the first exhaust valve ground out. As you can see the one on the left is kind of got a soft finish. The one on the right still has a hard finish, shinier edge and it looks like it still has some carbon on it I got that seat ground out that one right there is not so let me go ahead and do these other nine I have never ever done this I just put 10 valves in the wrong holes exhaust valves and intake holes this is the exhaust I am glad I noticed that before I put the other 10 in so I just wasted a solid hour putting in these valves I needed to take these things out and get them switched in the right holes good lord I'm having a crazy day got this head done all of the exhaust valves and exhaust intake in the intake I'm gonna clean the grease off of here I'm gonna do a parts inventory load up this car and I am hitting the road in the morning whoop whoop shout out to robert getting motivated so when i leave here in the morning i'm headed south towards nashville and then west towards west memphis i'm gonna stop at florence kentucky i'm gonna stop in west memphis then i'll bed down in little rock arkansas then saturday I'll likely do a dash assembly in the Little Rock, Arkansas area. 
and have a couple of meet and greets. And then Sunday, I'll be headed into Oklahoma City and take care of my buddy there in Oklahoma City. Then Monday, I'll probably be headed on into Texas. So I'm going to be on the fast track. Changing the oil on Byron's V70R. Let me go ahead and write the mileage down and put a sticker in the window. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.